Welcome to Adrianette Month, where every day there is a different fan fiction for a particular topic for Adrian Agrest and Marinette Dupain Chang. Today's theme is Rainy Day. I love the rain, Adrian whispered, looking out at the gray sky. You're about to drop some dumb, hopeless, romantic line, aren't you? Flag groaned. It reminds me of cozy things. Hot chocolate, warm jackets, and new beginnings. Oh, here we go. I made my first friend choice on a rainy day. You know that. Someone I got to choose to be friends with, not a connection of my father's forced upon me. I can't take you seriously when you're trying to be dramatic. I should go visit her. Her? Is there a lover of yours I don't know about? Of course not. I'm talking about Marinette. I think I'm going to swing by her family's bakery. And do what? I haven't thought that far ahead yet, Plague. I will never understand you humans. Adrian rolled his eyes and zipped up his jacket, making sure Plague had flown in before doing so. It was a light drizzle outside and, despite Natalie's protests, he ran outside without grabbing an umbrella. He loved walking the streets of Paris when he was allowed to. There was something magical about it, despite the consistent smell they gave off. Make sure you ask for camembert while you're there, Plague whispered. I don't want them to think I'm a freak, Adrian hissed, walking through the doorway. The bell rang, and Tom Dupang appeared from the back with a large, warm smile plastered over his face. Why, if it isn't Adrian, he exclaimed, his voice booming through the bakery. Tom was a jolly fellow always ready to spread love and warmth, and it was easy to hear it in his voice. Hello, Mr. Dupang. Is Marinette working today? Marinette? Why, she's in the back right now. Would you like me to go get her? Um, actually, no. That's all right. If she's working, then I don't want to distract her, Adrian said. His face must have shown some form of disappointment because Tom instantly turned around to grab his daughter. Marinette, you have a visitor, he bellowed. Adrian felt his face flush as the flower-caked girl peeked out from the back. Adrian, she squeaked, what are you doing here? He knew he needed to think fast. Why was he there? He glanced outside at the gray, wet Parisian streets and back at her. Warmth. Flower. Rain. Sweets. Cookies. Chocolate chip cookies? I, uh, he began, shifting his weight between his feet. I was wondering if you'd help me bake something. Um, yeah, okay. What did you have in mind? I want to make some cookies for Natalie and my bodyguard. Oh, chocolate chip? Yeah, I'd figured they'd like something sweet and warm on a day like this. Sounds great. Come right on back. I'll run upstairs and grab some chocolate. Great, Adrian said, taking out his wallet and turning to Tom. How much would you like for the ingredients? Don't worry about it, my boy, Tom said, placing a hand on Adrian's shoulder. But you'll be giving her something to do, and that's payment enough. Okay. Adrian shot him a smile and made his way to the back where the top halves of Macaroon sat, awaiting their turn in the oven. Is semi-sweet good, or would you prefer milk? Marinette yelled. Semi-sweet is fantastic, Adrian said, 
setting his jacket on the back of a chair and rolling up his sleeves. Great, if you start dicing the butter, then I'll grab the eggs. Twenty minutes later, the cookies were finally in the oven, and Adrian was covered in flour from trying to catch Marinette as she slipped down the stairs. She apologized profusely, of course, but he didn't mind. If anything, her embarrassed face was cute. Hey, he said, gesturing to his shirt. Do you mind if I borrow your washing machine? What? Um, sure. I can find one of my dad's shirts to wear. I mean, it'll be big for you, but it's the best we've got. Oh, pff, don't bother, Adrian said, taking his shirt off. I've become used to being topless. We can just watch a movie or something while it's in the machine. She turned a deeper shade of pink as Adrian realized why she was suddenly taking special care to hold his eye contact and quickly swept his shirt back to his chest as a weak attempt to cover up. Well, um, she began, turning around as she took the shirt from him. On second thought, I'll take your dad's shirt. Thank you he said, his face now a cherry red. Of course! She sprinted upstairs as he looked around for something to cover himself. The last thing he wanted was for her father to come back while he was topless. Which is, of course, what happened. He raised his eyebrow at the boy as he walked in, unsure what to make of the scene in front of him. Adrian was grateful that Marinette wasn't there, but that's about as good as the scene got. To his surprise, Tom began laughing, almost losing his balance as he did so. <laughs> I take it you had an intimate relationship with a bag of flour, didn't ya? Um, yes, sir, Adrian blushed, realizing the white powder had made his hair its new home. There are some extra shirts in your size for our hired help hanging in the broom closet over there. Get yourself covered and make your way upstairs while they bake. Once they've finished, I'll bring them upstairs. Yes, sir. Marinette was already sitting on the couch, flipping through movie choices when Adrian got upstairs. Without thinking about it, he sat down next to her and pulled a blanket over them. The boy had no idea why she stiffened up at his action, but it didn't matter. He was hanging out with his friend on a rainy day. Fifteen minutes later, they were munching on warm, gooey chocolate chip cookies. It was a great rainy day. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the one-shot for Adrianette Month. Tomorrow's theme will be Switched Miraculous. In the meantime, you can catch these other videos for more fanfiction. I'll see you tomorrow.